let's go to log it in PPM. So uh, to see the team management functionalities, I will log in as a team manager. And now I will go to the team management method. So let's go to see the AOS team. Do you remember the overview tab that we had in the team management module? Oh yeah, of course. So I wanted to show you one of the beautiful thing that we've got in the 966. Now we are able to modify the order, include new portlets in this overview. In the past, we couldn't. And uh, for doing that, basically what we can do is clicking on the settings icon and we are able to drag and drop and move the different portlets and even include any other portlets that we don't have at this moment, like this type of portlets that we've got predefined, or mm. if you would like to create a new self service portlet, you can do it and include on the overview tab. Our customers love that self service portlet, so that's great. Let's move forward to see what is the information that we've got in the overview tab. Do you remember this type of portlets that we had in the past? Well, Joanna, those ports have been around for a while, especially that one there about uh, uh, analyzed load. So yeah, that's, that's, if you will, that's been around for quite, quite a few years. True. This is an old portlet that, we, that we've got in the resource pool concept. If you know, the team management module is a conversion of the resource pool management. So if you go to the icon of the team, you are able to jump to see the resource pool that is linked to this team. So this is the reason that we now are able to include this, uh, this portlet that we had in the past. For example, in the past, we were able to see the resource pool, how was the reutilization versus the capacity. Now we can do exactly the same with the team concept. So it's, it's basically a conversion, right? Joanna, it's it's the data that we've had in the staffing profile and the resource pool. It's just in a different user interface. Exactly. Okay, Alan, let's move to the next step, members, because there are some lovely functionalities that we have included. So do you remember in the resource pools when we are able to include the unmet headcount? So now in the team management, we can do it. Basically, clicking on Add, there is a new option, and net headcount. If I click on that, I can provide the role, I can provide level, and even the start date. Some comments and clicking on Add, I'm able to create it. This is one of it, but there is another one that I love it. Mm. If, if you remember, uh, in the resource pool, we were able to transfer the participation of one resource to another resource pool. Mm -hmm. So now we can do it as well in the team management. If I click on this resource, for example, and on the transfer button, we can provide the effective date from when this resource is going to be participate or is going to start participating in a different team, which is going to be the team where I wanted to transfer the participation of this resource and the percentage of it. Okay, so it's something that we can do right now. But they can split their time across the team, it's like 50 50. The, the old resource pool, it, would, it wouldn't allow you to go over 100%. It's the same here. Yes, exactly. Great. So, and the last one that for me is the most wonderful functionality that we have included in the members tab that is the organizational charts having this view i think is excellent because at the end we can see the structure of my team with some specific details like the the team managers that are responsible of this team which is the total capacity and utilization of of that team so i think this is a wonderful view about these structural teams that we can. It is, jo Joanna, where we have customers that have used the Spotify framework where in scaled agile, where the it's it really needs to support uh, the, the concept of a team of teams. 
um, this view actually will give them a lot of detail and a real good visual, if, especially if it goes past just a couple of levels of hierarchy. This is great. Joanna, really the big thing that I noticed when I looked at this new version is that whole new tab for utilization. Can, can we talk about that next? Sure, but before this, before going to the utilization tab, I wanted to show you one specific slide where I want to provide you some details about what is the difference between demand and utilization tabs, okay? Great. Alan, this is the, the slide that I wanted to show you. So there are two concepts, different concepts that I wanted to, to explain first. There is the first one that is the demand. The demand basically is all the requests that we are receiving as a team manager from the different entities in PPM like proposals, projects or assets so through the staffing profile. So any project manager, for example, when they are planning the project, they can plan the resources that they could need in the staffing profile and they can start specifying the different roles or the resources or the teams that they could need to execute their projects. This mm. is the demand concept. But from the other side, there is the utilization concept. As a team manager, when we are tracking and when we are managing our resources or our teams, we have a team with different resources that manage our team capacity and depends on the demands that, that we are receiving from all these entities in PPN, we can start assigning the resource and check where these resources has been utilized in those entities in PPM like projects, assets, proposals, or whatever it is, the entity where they have been uh, asked. Quick, quick question. One of the things that just in conceptually, I'm glad you shared this slide, is when I think of the demand coming in, is the information that we're going to see in the team management, is it already filtered just on the people or the resources in that team? Because when I think about the different proposals, projects, and assets, I would think about any resource in the enterprise that would be working on those. Is it, it does it immediately filter that information down just to whoever's in that team? Exactly. Hmm. When we are as a team manager in PPM in the demand tab, we have already filtered all the staffing profiles that applies to my resources or to my teams where I am the team manager. We are not able to see the rest of the resources or the teams that has been requested in the same staffing profile for that project, that asset, or that proposal, for example. It's kind of almost like a security uh, that has been applied too, because in a lot of cases, teams shouldn't see each other's um, assignments, right? Correct. Correct. You are right. Let's go back to the product. If we go to the PPM documentation, and we see the demand tab definition, it says, the demand tab lists the positions that request resource assignment from your team and its subteams for a specific time period. So say like that, in this tab, we are able to see the demands that we are receiving as a team manager from the different entities in PPM. And we can group these details by different fields. In this case, I have already grouped by the staffing profile field. So I'm able to see by the different staffing profiles, the different roles that has been requested, which is the status of each one. And even if I click on this little arrow, I can see the resources that I have already allocated by this role in this staffing profile. That's fantastic, Joanna. So you're already looking at it. So am I able to edit that yes. allocation as well in the same view? Because a lot of our customers, they're excited about these views, but they haven't been able to modify the details. So yeah, go sure. ahead. 
Sure, this is there is an this little pencil in the left hand side. If I click on it, I'm able to modify the allocation uh, mm. for this resource Sorry. in this staffing profile, for example. Or even more, if I wanted to include any other extra resource, I can click on this icon and select all the resources that can sat satisfy the complete request from this staffing profile if it is needed. Those are resources that are in your team that have the skill or the role assignment to do that. Yeah, that's great. Exactly. This was related with the demand tab. You asked me at the beginning about what is the utilization tab, and I was explaining the two different concepts that we that we had. This one related with the demand concept, and now we are going to see the utilization concept through the utilization tab. If I go again to the PPM documentation, and if I try to search about the definition of the utilization tab, mm -hmm. it says. The utilization tab shows the assignments and remaining capacity of each team member in your team and its subteams for a specific time period. So with this definition, this is exactly what we are seeing right now in the utilization tab. We can see all the resources that are associated to my team or to my subteams. And if I click on this small arrow, I can see where this resource has been already assigned and which is the allocation that I have already done to each entity in PPM, in this case, to, the, to one project and to one asset. So let me ask, Joanna, is it just like the demand tab and that I can either edit this allocation with that carrot on the line or clicking into the blue matrix of numbers there, is that right? Exactly. You can click on the edit pencil or if you click, you do a double click on mm -hmm. the blue line, you are able to modify and edit the allocation that you have already done in the past for this resource to this specific asset in this case. So it's 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 literally the other side. It's, it's instead of looking at what's coming in against my team, it's what's already been assigned to my team. Qu quick question, <clears throat> and I know we're we're running tight on time. I if I change the unit of measure, which is that icon in the upper right hand corner where the person dropped down, if I change that from FTE to hours, is it the same? I mean, do I have the same features? Exactly. So. In the Excellent. same way, I can edit all the details. 